Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 10th of September to the 16th of September and that's for you coming from Sagittarius. So let's start on the 10th which is a Sunday. Morning, afternoon, early evening period, very good. They allow you to take the lead. People look up to you but don't show arrogance. And that way you can have a wonderful Sunday to be happy with the people you are with. Evening, nightfall periods, perfect for socializing. Perfect to be with the people for bonding. So the whole day is poised to be very good for you, except for one this little problem that can erupt because of your tendency to be arrogant or wanting to take charge too much. So let others do the planning. Be the follower and you'll have a wonderful Sunday. Let's go to the 11th, which again is going to be a very good day, evening, nightfall, everything for you. The morning, afternoon and early evening period of Monday, you'll be at work or in business. Many emotional planets are there. They make you imaginative, they make you creative, but they make you changeable as well. They make you oversensitive as well. So don't allow that to happen and you're going to have a satisfactory morning, afternoon and early evening period. I like your nightfall, your, I like your evening and nightfall period even better. That's when you should plan to mix business and pleasure, whether job related, whether business related. Well, if you want to be out with your marriage people and family people or romance partner or looking for a romance, it's also going to make you very lucky, evening and nightfall period of the 11th. I like your morning and afternoon and early evening period of the 12th, which is a Tuesday, and plenty of good news comes at your place of work, plenty of support in business, so be active in whatever area is important and crucial and you will get very good results. If you want to have lunch with the people you love, go right ahead as well. Bonding will be beautifully. And But the evening and nightfall period, there's a planet that makes you rebellious, makes you difficult to handle, makes you a person who is disagreeable to what others say and shows a rebellious attitude. Don't allow that to happen or you're going to spoil the evening and nightfall period. Now, this particular planet can also be seen in the daytime, but it creates little problems only. But evening nightfall, it can create some serious problems. So be careful. Drive carefully as well. Let's go to the 13th. Now, that doesn't start well. The 13th morning, afternoon, evening period is a Wednesday. Even before you leave home, disagreements are seen. When you drive, be very careful. At your place of work or in business, you are going to be a person who is not following rules and regulations, wants to make changes very abruptly and very instantly and therefore upset plans all over the place. Well, don't allow that to happen. Be calm. It's best, I think, for this morning, afternoon and evening period of the 13th to let others take the lead. Let them make the decision. That way the finger of blame won't come pointing at you. I like your evening and nightfall session very much. You may find solutions where earlier part of the day you couldn't. You will meet good business contacts. You will meet good news where if you are changing or wanting to change a job, good news can come. Or go out with your existing bosses and you will find solutions can also be found. And bonding in marriage or romance is pretty good as well. So a wonderful good ending to the 13th where earlier part of the day was not so good. The 15th is going to be bringing some really bad intense news regarding your job or regarding your business or accidents can take place or differences between you and uh, your marriage partner or romance partner can become worse. So be careful the words you choose, be careful the tone of voice, be careful do not have your body language to show aggression. And if you can do all that, you will lessen the temperature, you will lessen all kinds of difficulties rushing your way. Regarding bad news in job, bad news in business, well, lie low. Meaning, if you don't take the lead, the finger of blame won't come to you. Be clever. Send everything in a memo. Cover yourself because I see miscommunication, I see miscalculations taking place. Very serious, bad morning, afternoon and early evening period. And this problem continues during the evening and nightfall period as well. This time you can be rebellious, you can do things which others don't like to see because they are shocked at your behavior and so arguments also seen. So if you don't have to socialize, go back to the safety of your own home. But if you have to be out, be on your best behavior because you are going to be a very difficult person to handle throughout the whole 24 hours. Let's go to the 15th. Now for you in Sagittarius, it's another very difficult day. 
The morning, afternoon and evening periods make your ego very enlarged. You are very particular, the way people talk to you, they look at you, they, whether they disagree with you. So if you get very particular yourself, the clash will take place. So back down. Tell yourself, all right, I've heard from Andy, it's not a good morning, afternoon and early evening period. So I'm going to lie low. I'm going to not expose myself to risk by saying things or doing things which upset other people. That way, when you lie low, others cannot find fault with you. Evening and nightfall period becomes worse. So if you create problems in the morning, afternoon, early evening period, they move into the evening and nightfall period or new problems with different people can begin. So if you don't have to socialize, I'd rather you go back to the safety of your own home. But if you have to socialize, plans already made, either business contacts or with your colleagues or your bosses or with the people you love, you cannot afford to be argumentative or to behave in a manner being very difficult. Otherwise, this Friday, the 15th, is going to end up very, very nastily for you. The 16th. Now, the 16th starts beautifully for you. It's a Saturday. You're planning holidays, you're planning travel, or you might already be on a holiday. Everything goes very beautifully for you. You're driving well, you're going to reach your destination. Plenty of good news comes your way. And so be with the people you love, or if you want to be with the people you do business with, play golf, perfectly good as well. Evening nightfall period, be a bit cautious. Cautious in the sense that what you say and what you do, others do not find very agreeable. And it's an ego play. So others may not like you taking charge. So don't take charge. So evening nightfall period, let others make the plans, be the follower. And that way you'll be able to do very well. Okay. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 5, 0 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And that's based on your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms. And I'll be face reading you when we Skype. And at the same time, if you want me to use Kabbalistic Tarot in the 90 minutes, I will as well. Go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email, make up your mind when you want to Skype. It's only for USD 50, 5, 0. And I'll be tackling your next five or six years in all areas of your life. How cheap is that? Until then, thank you and good luck.